But anyway, we're at eight o'clock. So why don't we start with our trailers? Well, the first one we're gonna look at is going to be Legends of Castile. Now, the reason I picked this one is because it reminds me of games I used to play back in like the 90s, text-based adventures, Police Quest, King's Quest, even Leisure Suit Larry, those types of games. There are so many that fall into that uh, that genre. And it's it's nice to see one that's being made today. So why don't we check that one out? Let's switch from that to this is yeesh. So just a little bit about this. This is developed and published by Teresno Entertainment. It will be released this year. There is a demo actually, which I may get to in a future in a future demo night. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Legends of Castile is a comic fantasy point and click adventure set in the historic Castile region of Spain in the 19th century. It follows a village girl that not her, uh, it follows a village girl who must investigate the region's folk legends to fulfill her dream of becoming a nun. So without any further ado, let's check it out. Mm. <laughs> Live a folk adventure. I'm actually kind of glad that they're not voicing any of these characters. I don't know if it's just for the trailer or not. Solve story driven puzzles. Those things look shady as hell. Human and creatures. Don't co sign alone for that guy. What's over there? Sheep? Hmm. Now let's see. It really does remind me of those old style of uh, point and click adventures, which is great. And again, I said, I, I'm glad they're not, I don't know if they're planning on having voiceover for the game. I hope they don't. And the reason being is it, not that I have anything against voice actors. I just like sometimes in certain games to be able to voice the characters myself in my own head. Like I, I'll get a sense for what they sound like in my own head. And that's just a me thing. Even if they do end up with character voices, they can always, you can always just mute it. There was another game I played, and this is the reason I don't like it sometimes. It's the, the, okay, so the character themselves, reading the dialogue, reading their dialogue was one thing, but when you heard the voice that was attached to it, it just sounded like snarky and bitchy, and I hated the main character. And I didn't even get through the demo. I was just like, oh, you're so annoying, and I cannot relate to you at all. You are the architect of all of your own problems, and you are unrepentant about it. You are a character I don't like. And the voice just was like the cherry on top. I'm like, no, I'm done. I'm out. I don't always talk about games that I don't, uh, that don't vibe with me. Because, just because it doesn't vibe with me, I'm not going to say anything about it. Other people might like it. Other people might love it. But for me, if, if I don't like it, that's my business. I just won't talk about it. That's all. Unless somebody asks me about it, then I'll give them my honest opinion. But that's why I'm not mentioning the name of that game. Because I think it is still in development. So... It just wasn't for me, and that's fine. But let's have a, a look here. So, just the animation. It's like, yeah, it looks kind of janky and weird, but that's how those games used to look. You used to have characters just kind of walking in profile and then moving slowly up the screen. It was weird, but it was fun. You still got the sense that they were moving. And this, who's this guy? And if he lives there, why doesn't he just build a bigger door frame? But either way, I'm curious to know more about this because I, I want to, because it doesn't mention in the demo, or sorry, in the trailer, why she's 
doing this. I don't think it does. Let's, let me read a little bit more about it here. It tells the story of a village girl who must investigate the myths and legends of Castile to fulfill her dream of becoming a nun. Advance the story by solving puzzles and riddles, meeting all kinds of characters, defeating fantastic creatures with your wit, and exploring places all around the castle. The other thing I liked about these types of games is that they had real stakes. Like if you screwed up, the game made you pay for it. Didn't have a problem with just killing you outright if you did something stupid or wrong. I'm hoping that continues forward in this. Who's the protagonist of the story? The main character of this adventure is Maria, a young and fearless, though clumsy, Castilian girl. The story begins when, just after a long night with her friends, Maria has a vision of the Virgin Mary, after which she decides to become a nun. Maria asks to be ordained at a convent in Burgos, I hope I'm saying that right, where her future mother superior assigns her a very important mission. To fulfill her dream, Maria must investigate the mythological creatures that have been appearing around the territory of Castile and collect an item from each to prove their existence. Only once she has done this will the bishop take action against the creatures to end their threat to the population of Castile and Christianity. I wonder why you would choose somebody who is not actually a nun to fulfill something that sounds very difficult. I'm wondering if that's revealed in the story. Otherwise, that seems very irresponsible. Uh, lateral logic puzzles with a smooth difficulty curve. No dead ends or deaths, just fun. Oh, okay. That's fine. Female main character, classic frame-by-frame -frame animation with lip syncing. An original story full of fantasy humor and plenty of Spanish folk legends and myths to discover. Occasional references to the adventure game classics without going overboard. Inspired by classic adventures like Monkey Island and Broken Sword. Clearly they're inspired by that, yeah. More than 30 characters and mythological creatures to interact with. Around 50 picturesque scenes, each hand drawn with pencil and paper and digitally colored and full HD resolution. I love hand drawn stuff. Hundreds of objects to inspect, combine and use. No slider jigsaw mechanical puzzles guaranteed. <laughs> See, they really want to emphasize that point. One button interface with three contextual verbs, providing more room for experimentation and fun. Original soundtrack plus traditional pieces of Castilian folk music. Hmm. Judging by the features that are listed here, it seems like there was a lot of care that went into crafting this, which is one of the reasons I'm looking forward to it. And there's a demo, so like I said, maybe I'll check it out. All right. That all sounds well and good. Why don't we check out our next one, which is Netherworld. So this one I might have to watch a couple times because it's, well, you'll see. There's a lot happening very quickly. <laughs> Cubic. What's that character's name? Mage is an addict. It's like a drinking mini game. These types of games where you're fighting characters that are just way, way, way impossibly bigger than you. Gorgeous. So it's on Steam and Switch, which is neat. So this is developed by Hungry Pixel and published by Selecta Play, which is a name I'd recognize. I'm like, where where did I hear of uh, Selecta Play before? They're the same publisher as Morkel Regast's Rage, which is a game I played uh, two weeks ago. Was it two weeks ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because last week I played Deadweight and Sand Ripper. Yes, that's right. So, <laughs> just, just a lot to unpack in this trailer. A weird jellyfish handles marriage crisis with alcohol, drugs, sex, blows, and lots of odd characters. That's from the Steam page. 
if that doesn't convince you to at least check it out, I don't know what else will. Uh, next, Netherworld is a pixel art action adventure narrative experience and also a dark and decadent land full of filthy creatures. Shit happens. That's literally on the Steam page. After being abandoned by his wife, Medu faces his disgrace, going to the nearest bar to drown his sorrows in vodka. What started as a marriage crisis will soon become an unexpected, surreal, and twisted journey surrounded by quirky fellow travelers. Get along with cokehead mages. Those are two words I never thought I'd read together. Entrepreneur prostitutes. Never mind, there are two other words I didn't think I'd read together. Mobsters, sociopath kids, old perverts, and more to fix the pieces of your broken life or at least to try it. Everything I read about this just makes me want to play it a little bit more. Like, even, look, at, look at this, dude with a gun. You've got guns, alcohol, drugs, sex. Rock and roll. Well, I don't know about the rock and roll part. I just felt like that needed to be in there. Uh, this is cokehead mages. <laughs> so the mini games, get money and items, taking part in drinking competitions, having sex, shooting stuff, or controlling a tick called Joe through filthy underground roguelike dungeons. So one of the mini games is a mini roguelike. That's, that's neat. Boss fights, time to kick some asses. Survive slash, oh, it, survive is scratched out and it says fight savage bosses during your crazy adventure using all kinds of guns or unarmed. How about no? <laughs> oh, mature content description. Probably should have led with that. But yeah, this looks, this, <laughs> this looks like it's gonna be interesting. Oh boy. So let's, I, I just wanna go back here a bit. So, He's left by his wife, goes to the nearest bar, drinks his ass off. It's my kind of humor. All right. So this is the, I guess one of the cokehead mages, Cubic. He's a <laughs> interesting character design. Oh man. Okay. What's happening here? So we've got a cubic health bar down below. So are we, and there's a, what is this? Is this like a unicorn? I'm trying to figure out what's happening here. So these, all these bottles that are firing upwards. And yeah, that was like a bouncing unicorn thing. Live in definitely not epic adventure. Is this is like a convoy. What is this thing? It's a little pink stuffy, or that could be a character. And there's this little dude over here. Hmm. Oh, I, I want to know more. I don't have enough context to understand what's going on. Caused by an addict mage. Okay. Starring Guide as Lois. So that's, that's Medu. Weird folks. So you got a few different types of scenery we've got here. So a few different biomes, areas, whatever. Looking for a mask. And then there's this. Oh, man, I wish this wasn't in the way. I'd really like to get a good look at this because that looks like some building that's been sort of twisted over and there's all these things hanging from it. Like, I don't know if there's a demons or whatnot. Ah, oh, that is neat. Red flower. And then there's this dude. Quite large. My good luck depends on this flower, and I chose it at random. What could be what could go wrong? Hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> Some people are gonna see. Oh no, there's a fishing mechanic. I don't know if there actually is. Didn't did it say if there was in the minigames? Let's see, drinking competition, having sex, shooting stuff, or controlling a tick called Joe. So it didn't say that there's a f there's fishing in the game, but a lot of games have fishing in it. So who knows? And this looks nice. Uh, I really dig this. But yeah, some of these bosses look insane. So I'm gathering that the worms play an important part in things because 
Well, you'll see later on. This is Antarbal. Huge. It looks like some kind of dragon. This looks... Whoa. Like a giant possessed demon bunny? Called Zenus? Whoa. That's a lot of screen shake. Wow, that, that thing looked neat though. Holy crap. And there's this giant ass club. And you're over here. You little guy right here. I'm gonna do like, I, I think like maybe 20 of, of you can fit just on this thing. A bionic tick called Joe. So this is one of the mini games. Where you go into an anthill and just wreck stuff. Yeah. A sinister worm spiracy. So the worms are a part of this, but we don't know why yet. Hmm. And different text options. Okay. Hmm. Anytime I see different text options like this, I'm wondering how many endings are there? Are there is it just one ending? Or you're going to have multiple. I always hope for multiple. <laughs> so, <laughs> cardio sessions. <laughs> okay, that's one way of putting it. I mean, if you're doing it right. Um, whoa. Huh. I am so intrigued by this. I can't wait to try this out. What do you think? Do you think this is, uh, I think this might be up your alley? I know this is up mine. It just, the sense of humor that it's got is, uh, if a game has a good sense of humor and it's not trying too hard, that actually goes a long way with me. It's right up there with like music. But yeah. That, that is something else. All right. Uh, so I think we're good for Netherworld. Why don't we check out our next one? Which, to be honest, um, I'm not so sure what kind of game this is going to be. I've already looked at the trailer for this. And I don't really know much about it. I mean, well, you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. But for uh, Netherworld... There is no release date set just yet, and unfortunately there isn't a demo, which if there was, I would be all over it. So anyway, moving on to Vuntra City, developed and published by Avica Software. Let's check that out. So I'm going to talk while this is going, because basically this is Mostly, this is all just scenery shots, and it looks really good. If you are a VR player, this is VR supported, but it's not exclusively VR. An immersive city exploration game where every building can be, can be entered. Explore a vast procedural city, meet its inhabitants, and gain access to exclusive locations with breathtaking views. Yeah, I'll say breathtaking, all right. Um, I'm not, I'm not a, an art guy, so I can only look at things from a layman's point of view, but it just seems like there's a lot of attention paid to lighting, reflections, and just, it, it just looks very polished. The jarring thing about it to me is that it seems so empty. There's nobody in the entire trailer. There's you do not see another living soul. Which made me thinking, you know what? That'd be cool if this was like a 28 days later. And you have to find out where the hell everybody went. And then all of a sudden zombies just come out of nowhere. It would actually be interesting to see what a rundown area of Vontra City would look like. I'd love to see that. But there is no release date for this. Well, let's check out the overview. Vuntra City is an immersive city exploration game where every building can be entered, and you saw how many there were. Explore a vast procedurally generated city, meet its inhabitants, and uncover its secrets. 
work your way up the social ladder to get invited to exclusive locations and make them your own. Or just have relaxing rides on the city's public transport, have a virtual drink at one of the many bars and cafes, and enjoy your stay at a park full of greenery. The game has minimal combat and no pressure. The city is there to explore, and it is entirely up to you how you want to approach it. it can be played in VR or flat screen mode. Now, to give you an idea of how big the city is, the city is 20 by 20, so 400 square kilometers, which is 154 square miles. In size and it's fully accessible, every street, every floor of every building, every penthouse and rooftop terrace can be visited and has a unique layout and atmosphere. You don't have to enter every building, but you can. There are varying qualities, quality levels to every space, and the top ones are to die for. The city has a day and night cycle and weather changes, and we did see some of the weather changes as well. We saw some fog and some precipitation. Visually, I mean, just, just the trailer is stunning. Absolutely stunning. I don't think this game is going to, well, I don't even know if I would call this a game so much, but I don't know if this is going to be for everybody. Uh, if you are the type of person, I think that can manufacture a story in your own head and just all you need is like a, a, a game to give you that, that environment. And then you just dream up your own story. Then this is, this might be for you, but if you're looking for something where you are kind of guided along in a story like most games then maybe not but either way just looking at it, it is a visual marvel yeah it just looks great even the cars look great too interact with everything for the most immersive experience break anything that's breakable but beware going overboard will get you into trouble so yeah, there's not really much more to say about the game than, than that. Like I said, visually beautiful. And I'd, I'd really like to see what more is going to be done with it. I'd, I'd like to see the finished product just to see how far it is from the trailer that we're seeing right now. But that will come with time. And like I said, there is no release date. There's no demo at this time anyway. But I will be putting links for all of these in the chat. But anyway, last one, but certainly not least, is Monster Meals. If you're thinking overcooked, yeah, kind of, but there's more to it. <laughs> Guy looks a little stressed out over to the right. That does not happen in Overcooked, as far as I know. Hunt for the juiciest ingredients. Prepare delicious meals. Roadkill student. <laughs> Hang on a second. Hang on a second. I, I really want to go back to this point. Um, I want to get the look on his face. That. That's just beautiful. He just looks like, what the hell just happened? Oh man. So yeah, this is, this is monster meals. Like I said, it, it does feel kind of like, feel similar to overcooked, but there's a, there's a few extra twists and like, number one, your customers can eat you. And if, if they don't, um, if you don't jive with their diet, they'll just barf you back up again, which, okay. And then you'll have this shell shocked look on your face. Monster Meals is a cooking game where you can control, where you control a small monster chef in your food truck, preparing meals with exotic creatures for monstrous customers. Serve quickly before you become the next meal. So again, no release date for this one currently and no demo. It is developed by Giant Warrior Studio and published by GoGo Games Interactive. But it looks like fun and it's got two player co-op as well. 
Dive into a world of monstrous cuisine. You take on the role of an adorable monster chef in a unique culinary journey. With a food truck as your mobile base, you will travel to various locations from deserts to bustling cities, serving a monstrous clientele. You could be the next meal. Get ready for an exciting culinary experience where time is your biggest enemy. With impatient customers waiting, you need to act fast before becoming the next dish on the menu. Got local co-op so you can work in partnership with uh, to quickly serve your demanding customers. And I understand that a lot of people um, lost friendships playing Overcooked. Hopefully that doesn't happen this time. And really, if you're losing a friendship because you're playing Overcooked together, I'm wondering how... Um, how stable that friendship was to begin with. You will have to hunt animals to use in recipes, which you didn't have to do in Overcooked. Prepare meals that defy conventional taste standards using exotic creatures found in each location. Hunting rats on the street, pigeons in the square, or cockroaches in the sewer are just some of the activities that await you. Various preparation methods and combinations. With skill and precision, chop, fry, bake, and cook these bizarre ingredients in your mobile kitchen, equipped with a variety of utensils and equipment. Upgrade your food truck. Oh, that's different. I did not read this before. As you progress through the levels, your food truck will grow, offering new equipment to tackle increasingly challenging tasks. With 20 levels spread across four groups of different locations, each with its own immersive atmosphere and customized vehicle. Neat. And looking at the system requirements for this, it looks like it'll play on damn near anything. Um, what's this coming up for? Is this going to be on anything other than Steam? I do not know. It doesn't say. But it is definitely coming out on Steam. So if you are on PC, you are set. I wouldn't be surprised if this comes out for other systems. You know what? I'll look it up after. But yeah, that's it for the trailers. And these are all games that I think I am interested in playing. I'll see you next time. So long. Take care. And go play some fun-ass games. Till next time, have a great night.